Hi everyone, it is time for a new reading vlog and this one is going to be really special. Um, basically, today I am going to be submitting my last assignment for university, like, ever, <laughs> which is fucking insane. I think I'm going to chat about it later um, and of course, as always, there are going to be timestamps in the description box and on the timeline if you want to skip anything because I do think... I want to make this a little bit more of like a lifestyle vlog and maybe chat a little bit more than I normally do. Um, so, you know, obviously there's going to be a lot of reading done as well. But just if you don't care about anything, you can skip ahead. But right now we're going to kick things off with a unboxing because I just got some books and I'm so excited. And another super exciting thing, basically... <laughs> I, hang on, I need to go get the book. There are three books that I pre-ordered so that I could enter the pre-order campaign. If you don't know what that means, basically some authors do this so that, you know, it motivates people to pre-order their books, which in case you didn't know, is something that is super important for authors. Because if you pre-order their book, it counts for the sales that are like in the first week of the release of the book which can then help the authors get on like best-selling lists because the first week is just super important you know and so if you ever can pre-order books it is literally one of the best things that you can do for authors along with reviewing their books on like amazon and just other uh what's it called just you know book websites so i pre-ordered twice shy by sarah hogel and i have two envelopes what i didn't say is that the pre-order campaigns is usually like character art and um one book that i pre-ordered was lost in the neverwoods by aiden thomas and so what he did is um basically also do character art and like this super pretty pin and so the pin was just like US only, so I couldn't get that. But um, a lot of authors, you know, just I <laughs> am so grateful that, you know, they did just an international campaign at all. And Sarah also did an international campaign. And for her, I think it was um, just character art. So, but I mean, I'm so excited and this is really hard. So I'm going to pause here so that I can open this because it's gonna take me 10 years and then when i actually take the thing out i'm gonna show you finally opened the two envelopes so i don't know which one i should do first i think i'm gonna open the white one first i do not remember at all what it's supposed to look like N like there's nothing in my brain so i have no idea what is like in both of them i didn't expect to get two so i'm like oh my gosh so i'm so excited oh my god Okay, so this is the first thing I see. Can't really see much, but this is... Oh my god, that is so cute. So this is this, like, cute little house drawing. I love it. Um, I also didn't tell you anything about Twice Shy, so it is an adult romance, and I haven't read it yet. I am gonna be buddy reading it with a friend of mine, and we're probably gonna get to it, like, next month, maybe? So the only thing I know about the plot is that it's like very like the main characters are definitely like kind of cinnamon rolls and that they both oh my gosh they both inherit a house but like they don't know each other I think so they you know like I don't know if they like move into the house or something I love forced proximity we all know and I just think I'm gonna love this and so I'm super excited so I love this i am probably gonna use it in my journal which like i desperately need to get back to journaling oh my gosh <laughs> it's so beautiful oh my gosh so the next little thing is this like business card um so fucking cute and the thing that i screamed at it's like photographs oh my oh my gosh so look how beautiful this is I'm literally gonna scream and I don't know what I'm going to do with all the character art from this and like Aiden and um, Rachel and Solomon because I also pre-ordered We Can't Keep Meeting Like This which is coming out in June. Um, so I don't know what I should do with them because I want to like put them on display somewhere but I don't know where so if anyone has any ideas 
please tell me I'm just gonna be staring at this all day and we're not even done so let's see what the next thing is oh my god there's a fireplace and a cute puppy and how adorable are they like I am in love I love them so much oh my gosh this is so cute <laughs> I did not know there would be so many. I expected like one or two. Like I am shook right now and I love it so much. And this makes me want to do. <laughs> oh my God, how beautiful is that? There's a baby and the dog is big now. <laughs> this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. And there's another baby. <laughs> I am so many puppies. Oh my god. Like, look how fucking cute. Like, how fucking cute is this? Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. Like, what, in, what the fuck is in the other envelope? Like, I love this so much. And when I can afford it, like, for the next book I'm gonna put out, I need to do this as well like holy fuck okay so let's see what is in the other one i see like two cards again oh my gosh i <laughs> whoa, whoa 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 how did this happen i don't know the envelopes were like in the little like box thing i don't know what it's called because this is from aiden this is the aiden thomas thing which now makes sense because i was like you know this is from Aiden Thomas for, for not Cemetery Boys, for Lost in the Neverwoods. This is for Nicole Aiden Thomas. <laughs> I am so excited right now. Like, oh my god. Okay, so this is from Aiden. And Lost in the, in the Neverwoods, I already read and I vlogged about it. I'm going to link it down below. I absolutely loved it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> This is also the um, Cemetery Boys one. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Wait, there are three ones. I'm going to show them one at a time. Like the sunset here. It is so cool. I've seen it so many times on Aiden's Twitter. But seeing it in real life, I am shook right now. Like the sunset here and the night sky here and how adorable are they? <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> wow, these are stunning. Like I am in love. Like I, this is heaven. Like I need this for every single book ever. Like I, why am I holding it like this? <sighs> Wait, I... <laughs> This is my favorite one, and oh my gosh, this is so cool. Like, I love both of these so much. This is kind of more like cards, and they're a little bit thicker. And these are totally like photographs, and I adore both. Like, I'm in heaven right now. This is the best thing ever. Like, <sighs> holy shit. So, <laughs> I am going to stare at them all day, and I am literally so happy. The only thing I knew was coming were the books and that was already everything and the fact that i got this it's literally like a gift for like the you know being done with university like i'm not like officially done like i'm not graduating yet because like you know they need to grade everything but it's the last thing i'm doing and i am literally so grateful and so happy right now so i'm running out of space move some stuff to my laptop so that i can film um the unboxing of this we're back. I have 15 minutes. <laughs> and let's open this. There is some really amazing, exciting stuff. Literally, like, my favorite thing in the world is getting book mail. Like, I think, like, you know, when I think about living in a place that I can actually go to the bookstore and find books that I like, I obviously love that, you know, like, it's the ultimate dream. But I don't think I'll ever actually stop like buying books online sometimes because getting the package you know if you're an international reader you know how painful it is to like wait for it and when you don't even know when it's gonna come and everything but actually getting it 
makes everything worth it, you know? So I think like what I'm gonna do in the future is I'm gonna keep on pre-ordering books cause that is also the best thing ever. And yes, anyways, we all wanna see what's in here. So <laughs> let's find out. This time, the last time I did a book haul, I forgot literally half of everything I bought. So this time, I do actually remember, but that honestly doesn't make it any less exciting because like all the things that I picked are super exciting. This is what it looks like. <gasps> I spoke too soon. I did actually forget one thing that I like kept thinking about and forgot now and it's on top. I kind of want to show it to you last, so I'm sorry. Holy fuck, it's so pretty. Okay, okay. I am so excited. So, wow. That is stunning. Sorry, this is annoying. Um, why is it like this? Why is it? <laughs> oh my god, and it's so huge. <laughs> like, holy fuck. Okay, so I'm super excited about this. This is Blackbird by Sam Humphreys, Jen Bartle, Paul Rainwand. Triona Fer Farrell and Jody Wine, Dylan Todd and Jim Gibbons. Um, I don't know anything about this. So this is fucking gorgeous. That is partially why I got it. And the art looks so beautiful. And I am so excited about this because I have been getting really sick of reading graphic novels on my phone, but I love graphic novels so excited about this next book oh my gosh it's so pretty is never kiss a duke by megan frampton this is a historical romance i've talked about megan many times and this is the first book in the hazards of duke series i don't know where i have i put the other two books somewhere so this is the second book that i got in my last book haul and <laughs> I bought this because it's my absolute favorite and I adore it and I was like I need to reread it because I read it in the fall and on audio and I sometimes like forget books easier when I read them on audio and considering how many books I read you know like my memory obviously isn't the best so I feel like I am gonna adore it even more when, maybe when I read it physically and I adore the cover this is literally my this is the color scheme of my dreams and I wanted to get the first one because I also loved this one like this one was my absolute favorite um it has the grumpy and sunshine trope and it's just amazing um but this one I, I also adored this one and it's also just so pretty I absolutely adored the historical romance covers that have flowers on them and so yeah I love both of these and I'm so happy I got this it was also really cheap so I was like you know what let's just fucking do it the next book I I'm so excited <laughs> and it's floppy oh, I this is untouchable by Talia Hibbert oh, you can't let I'm so happy right now this book um I don't know anything about it I don't want to know anything about it but Talia is my absolute favorite author ever you all know if you watch my channel and I absolutely want to build my collection of their books because I need every single one of them and I have decided that like I basically there is this like cinnamon roll box set I don't know if that I don't remember the exact name um but I think it should be still available and you can basically get like an ebook I don't think it's physical but maybe um and so you can get the ebook and you can have all the books in this series and I got that and so like on ebooks I have access to every single one of Talia's books which honestly that is already really cool but I decided that like the rest of the ones that I haven't read yet which is this one and the last book in the series and then another book and is that it oh my gosh that's horrible um, I decided I'm gonna get it physically and read it physically because just I want it to be special and I oh my god I hate the thought of not having any more books by Talia to read but I'm so fucking excited about this there's one more book that is the one that I saw first and that I'm so excited about and I forgot and it's so gorgeous so that is Cast in Firelight by Dana Swift. I need to put this down because like, so I don't 
remember oh my gosh on this it says two royal heirs arranged to be married they made their own arrangements so the only thing that i know about this is that it's a marriage of convenience and it's a fantasy romance and here it says a fun fast-paced fantasy saturated in wonder with a pair of dynamic heroes who will steal your heart a spellbinding debut with cage fighting witches vigilante heroism and an intoxicating slow burn romance so I love this cover, like the style of these covers. Um, there are multiple books like this and I literally like it gives me life. I realized that Marriage of Convenience is one of my absolute favorite tropes ever. And I also saw someone tweet about this a while ago and that, you know, the person enjoyed it. And so I'm like, I needed this, you know, and I also like I'm a floppy paperback kind of girl, but like hardcovers are kind of growing on me clearly i'm on a physical reading withdrawal um but i love it i can't wait to read it i think i'm gonna be reading it super soon and i am so grateful that it came today like i was literally thinking like i want to order books to celebrate because i also am like finishing up dare to live dare to love my fucking books so i'm celebrating both of these things that are just really fucking huge and um so i was gonna order books and i still do want to do that <laughs> but i bought these like a month ago and the fact that they arrived today with like all this incredible art is literally the greatest gift from like the post office book gods so i am so happy so i am so excited thank you so much to sarah hogel and Aiden Thomas. I love it so much and it's so gorgeous and just I <sighs> thank you and I need to finish the assignment. I already kind of did but basically like I have been waiting for the teacher to give me feedback and she was supposed to send it this morning um, and it has not arrived in my inbox so I might just have to finish it up on my own and I do have like the word count I need um, but I literally, you know, I just need to like read it again and edit it maybe a little bit or whatever, but it's almost done. But I will vlog it when I actually submit it. I got another package, literally, like, and it was so weird because I had to like sign for it and I had no idea what it was. But I actually now think I know what it might be. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if it is that, I'm gonna be so shook. This is, <laughs> this is crazy. I literally, this has never happened before. I have never. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> I'm literally gonna cry. This is not the I got an arc of how to find a princess by Alyssa Cole. And what the actual fuck? backstory, you might have heard me mention this in my last vlog maybe that basically i tweeted that <laughs> i had a dream <laughs> that i got a copy of this book and i tagged Alyssa cole in it and she messaged me that like you know she could contact whoever and she literally was like that you know she'll ask if they have any arcs left but when i told her that you know i don't live in the us she was like um, I'm sorry, I don't think they're going to be able to. And then she emailed me a NetGalley link to an eARC. And so I thought, okay, you know, I understand. And I was super happy to have an electronic copy of it. And what the fuck? Like, I gave her my address. But first of all, this was like five days ago. So where did this come from? How did it get here so fast? And it's also like kind of floppy. <laughs> And uh, this is literally one of my most anticipated releases. I'm also so glad that I didn't read this 
yet like I started it and I was gonna read it during the weekend but I was super busy and now I can read it like this I am literally like shaking and I'm speechless and I this has never happened before like I got an I got a physical arc once randomly just because like it was just kind of first comes first serve first come for whatever <laughs> and this is insane so I'll absolutely be reading it in this vlog it's coming out next month and oh my god I'm gonna talk about what the book is and everything later when I can actually like function but I am so emotional over the fact that like I have this I also this is one of the best romance covers I've ever seen in my life I adore it like um but I was literally like sad because I wanted to like celebrate and buy something for myself for when I'm done with the assignment and then I realized that the book order was coming today and I was super happy about it and the fact that I got the cards both of them and then like oh my god because you know I can't go to the bookstore because they're still closed and it's not that it you know there would be a lot of things at the bookstore but I'm gonna go cry. Um, so thank you so much to Alyssa Cole for, you know, damning me <laughs> and making this happen for me. And you know, for the publisher <laughs> for sending it. I am losing it. I'm gonna go because I am losing it. So I'll talk to you <laughs> later. So it is 2 p.m. And I'm about to click on the submit button. Um, and <laughs> I literally can feel my heart like beating so fast and I am freaking out. Um, and I wanted to document it because this is a huge fucking moment. <sighs> And I'm losing my shit. To give you some context, I, I didn't... <laughs> what I actually studied is creative writing and journalism. And this is a piece of global journalism. And I'm basically writing about how students across the world are trying to cope with the pandemic. And I'm actually really proud of the piece. And I was freaking out because the teacher... I think I mentioned that. The teacher didn't send me feedback, but she just did like half an hour ago or I don't know. And she actually mostly liked it and she had some small suggestions that were really helpful and I feel like it actually really, you know, completed it and made it something that I actually really like and I'm proud of it. It's not like a big thing, it's, you know, just one of the normal assignments, but it is a big fucking deal because, like, this, this is it. I'm gonna click on it. Okay. <laughs> Am I ready for this? Like, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> the mouse is on the button. Let's do this. <sighs> oh my god, I did it. <sighs> it's uploading. And it's uploaded. You know, also, I was, like, watching the clips I had from earlier, and the way I do I do this, it looks so weird. But, like, I don't, you know, do this, because it fucks up my lipstick. <laughs> so I should just do this, because, like, oh my god. This is literally gonna be, you know, just, like, Nicole crying and freaking out for 40 minutes straight. So I think it's gonna take a while for this to hit my brain. <laughs> I just submitted my last ever assignment. I'm like happy about it, <laughs> but also, you know, it's a bittersweet feeling because I actually really, I actually really loved my university experience <laughs> and I just want to talk about it. You know, like <laughs> I would say I'm going to talk about it when I am <laughs> like a little bit calmer but I don't think that's gonna happen, so, um, I absolutely hated high school. I had the absolute worst experience in high school, 
and I literally hated every second of it and I still remember all the times when I was like holding on to the thought of being free of that and for a while since I hated school so much I was not going to go to university I was like fuck everything <laughs> I'm just gonna make it work um I feel like camera wasn't really clean is that better I don't know um so yeah but then I found this um I study I went to university in London I don't know if I should like say the name I feel kind of weird about it like I don't know if I don't know, <laughs> whatever, but yeah, so I found it and I actually applied to multiple places across the United Kingdom. What the fuck? I never say across the UK. I really wanted to go to London. Like, I was just like, fuck it. Like, I know it's expensive, but you know, just I need to go there. I actually loved it so much and I like it taught me so much and it gave me time to like figure shit out. And I, I met one of my closest friends thanks to it, and it literally like changed my life in like subtle ways, but it has been just really wonderful. And the reason why I want to say it is that, you know, if you're in high school, um, you are going to get out of it, you are going to get through it, you're going to survive, and you're going to come out on the other side, and hopefully whatever comes next is something you're going to enjoy more. Um, and <laughs> the time will come that you are waiting for, whatever it is. And so just hold on and keep going. I literally made a video on this when I was still in high school. <laughs> so if I'm like brave enough, I'm gonna link it down below. Um, which, like, oh my gosh, it'd be crazy to look at that right now. Should I, like, react to it or something? Like, oh my god. You know, I'm definitely gonna have another deep talk about this later. But one more thing I wanted to say is that, like, I keep thinking about all the things that arrived today. And I have been struggling a lot lately. And this was something that I was, like, kind of excited for, you know? I got so many like little gifts today it just means so much I'm just really fucking emotional I have been released into the wild of adulthood and like god help me so yeah this is insane and like holy fucking shit like thank you for watching this because this is this has been a roller coaster and it's gonna keep on being a roller coaster, but I'm also really happy I'm doing this. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this fucking wild ride. So yeah, but mostly, you know, like there's still gonna be a lot of crying, but also some celebrating, uh, which my plans are to get sushi from my favorite restaurant, which I found out that they are doing like you can order it online. You don't even have to call. And so I'm gonna do that probably I'm hoping on Wednesday because today and tomorrow I need to finish the edits of my book so that I can send it to my editor which the fact that I just said that sentence like what the fuck so I'm basically gonna be celebrating being done with university and finishing my book like I can't handle all this hello everyone so I think that filming in this spot was a really, really dumb idea. <laughs> um, I was like, you know, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be like warm, sunny vibes, but this is a lot. Like that, like I didn't think I could get any whiter, but I don't have like a lot of reading updates, but I do have some things that I can talk to you about really quickly. So my dad got me Sprite, once again, I mentioned this in a vlog or two, that this is literally just Sprite and Grenadine, my new favorite thing. I'm so ready to drink it. I do think I need to put some ice in it. I read a book. <laughs> so it was a novella. It was Cocky Client by Whitney G. And it literally was so quick to read. And um, it's an adult romance. And it's like the third book in this series. It's the last book. And all of them are novellas that are basically like office romances with like alpha male heroes. And that's not typically something that I like love, but it can be fun. And I feel like Whitney G just has this 
writing style and vibe that is like yeah the stories and like some of the things that happen are definitely not perfect by any means but it's just so fun to read and just so good to read so addicting and so i completely flew through that i really need to speed this up because like <laughs> this is so bad um yeah so i want to put it out there that i oh my gosh it looks so cool in the sunlight I am not going to be reading this in this reading vlog. I want to put it out there because if I tell you then I'm actually not going to do it because I want to desperately save this for a 24 hour readathon because like I've watched so many 24 hour readathon vlogs where you know the person read a comic book like this and uh, <laughs> it sounds so ridiculous but I just love the thought of reading it in a 24 hour readathon and I want to do one very soon. I think that my main reading plans, physical, like physical reading, reading plans, why did I say whatever, are How to Find a Princess and, oh my gosh, um, Cast in Firelight. Yeah, I do still need to do the edits of my book, but I do think I'm gonna like read for a bit. I'll talk to you when I get some more reading done. Hi everyone, so I look really rough and um, this video is so fucking long already, so I'm gonna try to make this update really quick. I'm right now trying to make myself as busy as possible and trying to find something to do that is gonna be like comforting and something I'll be able to actually focus on. And I started Your Dad Will Do by Katie Robert, which is an adult romance and it's the first book in her series of like taboo romances. And in this one, the main character gets together with her ex-boyfriend's dad <laughs> so kind of you know like birthday girl by penelope douglas the audiobook is on script and it's really short it's also just another novella and i felt like um it would just you know be a super quick read and i think it is exactly what i need and like the narrator's voice is so nice and it's comforting me so much so I think I'm just gonna keep on listening to that. I don't really have any thoughts, just that I love the narrator. And I do think it's just gonna be super fun and super quick to read. <laughs> So it is finally time for another update. So I have Starbucks here and I am so fucking excited. I am really proud of myself because I'm pretty sure in this video I mentioned this drink. And it is an iced chocolate with caramel. And today I managed to ask for it without ice. I'm, I'm just proud of myself, okay? I was so nervous about it because I don't know if I mentioned it in this vlog or another vlog, but you know, I just like, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Um, whenever I have a lot of requests, like specifically at Starbucks, but honestly anywhere, like if I need to ask for anyone to like not put anything into like a meal or anything like that i always feel so bad about it um but you know i feel like we need to remember that obviously like people who work in shops restaurants and everything deal with a lot of shit so like it's amazing if we can be helpful and like not have a billion requests but at the same time i feel like so often it's just literally one thing and what matters most is to be as kind and polite as we can be but if we need something you know as long as you're sweet about it and you say thank you and please and everything then like it's okay so i did that super fucking excited it's so good <laughs> absolutely recommend so yeah anyway i'm gonna stop talking about starbucks now i also find it really funny because i also got coke i was gonna eat it with <laughs> wait i got coke um, and I was gonna eat it with the sushi, but then, um, I didn't, but the reason why it's funny is because, like, in my author bio, is that the name of it? Just, like, the author description that I have on Goodreads and in the back of my book, I say that I like drinking hot chocolate and Coke, 
um, but not at the same time or something. And here I am with both. I'm obviously not going to be drinking it at the same time, but like I have it at the same time. I didn't even say that I got my fucking copy edits done yesterday. So if I look like exhausted or like I'm over everything, it's because I am so fucking drained. And honestly, it's shocking that I can even talk, but... I am really proud of myself and I honestly can't believe it. Like I literally woke up today and I was like freaking out. I was like, you know, thinking like, oh my gosh, I have to do so much today. And then I was like, I literally have to do nothing today. The only thing I had to do was that I went to pick up the sushi and that was it. So, <laughs> which is why I was thinking I absolutely need to read these books and I'm dying to read them. I'm absolutely going to be reading them very soon, but I spent the past five days reading my fucking book and editing it straight and like the past two days I literally didn't stop for a fucking single second and so I think reading with my eyes right now is l like not a good idea so I'm unfortunately not gonna read these in this vlog but I am so fucking excited for them that like in the next vlog I'm definitely gonna be reading it if not in the next vlog then the vlog after that but just super soon in the next week it's happening, just not right now. I didn't want to pressure myself. So sorry if this vlog is super chaotic. My brain literally just can't anymore. There is going to be some reading get done in this video because I'm going to listen to audiobooks. I've been in a mood for audiobooks for the past like month a lot. I'm running out of space, so I'll move some stuff around and I'll move to a different spot and I'll <laughs> talk about that. I'm in a different spot, but it's only like 15 minutes later and I'm going to finish up the update and tell you what, what I've been reading. So, I didn't realize that I didn't update you on finishing Your Dad Will Do by Katie Robert, unless I forgot that I did, but I don't think so. My brain, seriously, is, like, all over the place, and, like, I should just finish the vlog here, but I just have a vision. So, yeah, finished that. Um, I don't have a lot of thoughts, but I liked the characters. It was honestly exactly the distraction that I needed. And if you're looking for just like a super steamy romance without much plot, I read it super quickly and like I just, it helped me so much in a moment when I was really freaking out. And so it was really, it was really great. And again, I really recommend the audiobook because just something about the, the narrator's voice was so fucking comforting and so nice. So yeah. I started Idol by Kristen Callahan and I'm at 18%, not very far, but the audiobook isn't too long and I do think I'm probably going to finish it today, um, so super excited about that. It's an adult romance and the hero in this book is a singer? He's a yes, he's a lead singer and so, you know, he's a celebrity and a lot of people like, he has a lot of fans and just, like, that kind of thing. But the heroine in the book, she doesn't actually know that he is famous and everything, like, when when they meet. Um, and so it has that kind of dynamic. And then she finds out. And um, I don't really know how to, like, explain the vibes. It's definitely not, like, enemies to lovers. Do you, I love the dynamic. Whatever it is. I don't know how to describe it. And... Normally, like I, there's the, I feel like to me, singer books and any kind of like music books have this specific vibe that I don't fully love, which doesn't make any sense to me because I adore music. I want to make music. I love like concerts and everything. Like it gives me life. But in books, I don't always love the vibe and, you know, but... I have fallen in love with Kristen Callahan when I read Make It Sweet, then I read Dear Enemy, which I read in a vlog, I'm gonna link it down below if you want to hear my thoughts about that. But long story short, I loved it and now I want to make my way through Kristen's backlist. I saw some good things about this one, especially about the sequel, but I was like, I want to read all of her books, so I started here and I am enjoying it. Like, um, again, I only read 18%, so like I don't have any super strong thoughts. But I'm invested and I'm interested to keep reading. So honestly, like, that's all that I need right now. Hi, everyone. So it is time for an update. I am exhausted. And so I'm going to talk to you about what I read and wrap up the vlog here. Because it's super fucking long anyways. I just finished Idol by Kristen Callahan. I think that's the title. I loved it. I ended up giving it, like, 4.5 stars. I was super conflicted and didn't know if it should be like 5 stars or 4 or 5 or you know, <laughs> but 
I just, I just loved it. The teaming characters were so wonderful, and like, Kristen Callahan has officially definitely become one of my, like, favorite romance authors, and I need to go through her entire backlist, cause just this book and the two previous ones I read was just so emotional and intense and steamy and wonderful, and I was so invested in the romance, and I feel like, also, one surprising thing that I kind of liked <laughs> is her third act conflicts. Um, while I didn't like enjoy it, because I just hate third act conflicts in romances, like I understand it's necessary and it's like the story structure and whatever, but I never really enjoy them, but I feel like in the three books I've read by her so far, they actually make sense and it's not for like what happens um, isn't for any dumb reasons, it's not anything that's like super dramatic for no reason, it's not like too much, it's not super frustrating, it's not something that makes me want to scream. It's just so good and I will definitely be reading the next book in this, like, it's I think just two books, so yeah. We'll definitely be reading that and all of other Kristen's books, so you'll hear me talk about her many, many times in the future. I am honestly absolutely exhausted, so I really need to wrap up the vlog here, because it, it started on like a really high note, but like I'm just overwhelmed in every way imaginable. I can feel my mind, my body, my heart, my everything needs space to like breathe and just exist and there's so much I need to like deal with and process and it's really hard but I need to do it and the thing is like reading is something that helps me so much like it's my main coping mechanism with like everything and um the thing is like I love talking about books with you and I love documenting my experience with reading everything but I just think for like at least a fucking week I need to not film and I need to just read and watch things and like write in my journal and pet my cats and like I don't fucking know, just do things that are not productive. Here's your reminder to take a break and take care of yourself and with that I think I'm gonna shut up. Anyway, thank you so much for watching if you got this far, like I appreciate it so fucking much and the emoji that you should leave down below is any of the hearts that are like multiple hearts cause just you know, to show you how much your support means to me and I love you all so much and I appreciate all of you and I really need to shut up now so thank you so much for watching have a great day and I'm gonna see you in my next video bye